Hey everybody, Ed the Impala Guy here with a little project update. Um, I know it's been a while and I really don't have a whole lot of good excuses of why I haven't uh, uploaded anything. But I have been working on the car a little bit. We've been uh, battling the sicknesses and the, the spring crud in the house, so that kind of slowed us down for a bit. But I wanted to kind of give you a little bit of an update on what we've been doing on the car. Um, as you can see, we started on the bodywork over here, and I actually have some pretty detailed video of, of the whole process and pulling that dent out. Um, I, I don't know if I'll upload it. If I can make it look sensible and, and make it, you know, have it make sense and, and be coherent, I'll, uh, I'll upload a, a video on uh, using the stud gun to pull this. I was kind of waiting until we got to the point where I'm going to patch that uh, hole in there. As you can see, that's it was pushed in like almost all the way, and now it's it's kind of out. But um, I was going around the car and and looking, um, and there was a, a rust spot over here. There was some paint bubbling over the right uh, passenger side rear fender well, and it, and I don't know if in previous videos you remember that um, I said you know we'll we'll take a look at that and we'll address it. Well, I got picking at it tonight. <laughs> When I got home from work and I, I don't know whether I should have but in the long run yeah I, I, I should have this is uh, this is why I hate people and this is why I hate people who do shoddy work um, there was a ton of body work done over here and none of it done correctly um, if you see this right here you know what this is that's foam rubber and they used foam rubber as a backing for their Bondo um, if you look over here, this is what, this is how thick the Bondo was. I mean, that's almost a good quarter of an inch. They backed it up. Well, the aluminum foil, the aluminum tape is mine, but you can actually see there's actual aluminum tape on here as well. Um, and then this was what was behind it. It's uh, rubbery. It's like foam rubber. And that's what was behind the Bondo. And, of course, that didn't work i mean it, it's just what a schlock job so what we have here is this is the inner fender well and this is actually if you stick your hand up in here you actually stick your hand into the trunk um so that's pretty cool but um it, it looks like it extends this is about the end of it here if i can point the camera correctly and about the end of it here so basically it's this wheel arch to about here and then it goes straight across um so I'm left to kind of wonder what to do with this. I mean, we're going to have to fix it. Um, I'm thinking maybe, you know, because like I said, I don't weld. And maybe I ought to start. But what I was thinking, since I'm going to do the panel bonding adhesive, what I might be able to do is fabricate basically this panel here. We'll cut it out just a little bit bigger. Um, and fabricate the replacement panel with um, kind of a, a, a lip in there. And that's what kind of what got me um, kind of me going on this is that the, the bumper cover actually bolts right up to here. And that uh, came out when I took the bumper cover off. The whole thing came with it, as you can see right here. And, and there's, yeah, no, <laughs> you don't even have to guess why, because there was nothing there to grab onto. There's absolutely nothing there. And you can see over here, this is the same area um, right here. Get a look up underneath there. You can see that there's just, a, it's turned up a bit, and there's a tab there for the uh, mounting point. And um, you can even see there's still, there's a little corrosion right in here. Um, but we'll take care of that when we fix this. But uh, what I'm thinking is, is fabricating a bit of a panel, a bit of a replacement piece, you know, going basically from here, make a 90, you know, and follow it. And um, basically sliding it behind here and using panel adhesive to, um, to bond it. And then that will, it'll give me, it's not going to give me the finished sheet metal, I mean, it's it's going to be, there's going to be Bondo. I, I mean, there, there's just, there's going to be filler. Um, but what it's going to give me is it's going to give me a solid background, uh, you know, solid backing 
to back um, the filler up and and we can treat it properly so it doesn't rust and that's that's why this the rust is even worse here now is because they just kind of slap some foam in there they slap some bondo in there and uh, they called it good and that of course trapped a bunch of moisture and then it just it keeps rotting so you got to get a, a you got to get a hold on you know on the rot you got to stop the rust um otherwise it's just going to continue to eat the car and now granted I, I i get it the fact that this car is nearing at the end of its life it's probably only got realistically about five six more years before it's a complete you know mileaged out hunk of junk i get it it's not you know an antique or it's not a restoration project that we're going to keep on for for eons i mean this is basically going to have to look good for about the next six you know years or so give or take who knows maybe longer and um and it'll be done but when we fix this i want to do it right i want to do it so that it's going to last the six or seven years or maybe even 10 years if somebody takes care of this car correctly um and you know i don't want this to to keep recurring now, i mean now granted i live in the rust belt so you're gonna have rust but um this was obviously rotted out a long time ago and um yeah they just schlocked it up in there and did a half-ass job but um we'll make it right i mean we'll we'll take care of it but anyhow that's i just wanted to give you a quick update on what's been going on um Let's see anything else over here on this side no i mean this is basically what's been uh, occupying my time is is the body work on this side um funny little story okay so the weather was really nice the other day and i thought you know what um i had to do an oil change in iris and um iris my wife's uh 2008 ltz and after i got done with that she's also got the uh, dreaded uh service uh stabila track um the abs sensor wire on the right front um has got a break in the wire it's a common problem i've got it i had it on the uh the silver impala over there and it's uh it's real easy my code reader tells me which wheel it is and you just go get a pig you know new wiring pigtail from um from autozone or amazon or, or wherever and just wire the new pigtail and it, it's not that hard and it fixes it and what the the reasoning for it was uh chevrolet when they designed it they designed the harness too short and when you would make hard turns it would stretch the harness and it leads to the wires breaking anyhow sorry to digress i was out taking iris for a spin and the weather was nice and i brought it back and i thought you know what i'm gonna take the black car out and uh it'd be the first time i've been out in it since um the weather had turned nice Sorry about the camera work there. So I got out on the road and I took it down to the end of the street. And it, hey, it was weather was nice. I had the sunroof open, you know, air conditioning on, and um, I just I kept going for a while. I went uh, by probably about five miles down to the highway and turned around. And I noticed that every time I turned and turned the turn signal on, the the blinker would start out slow and then it would go really fast, like I had a burned out light bulb. And I thought, oh man, I'm gonna have I got bulbs that are are sketchy in this. This is gonna suck. So I got back to the garage, I pulled in, I get out of the car, I walk around back to go in the house, and this is what I saw. Yeah, can you spot what's wrong? Can you guys spot it? Yeah, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? I've got no taillights. The taillights are in the trunk because I took the taillights off when I took the bumper, rear bumper off, and I was driving around not only with no license plate on the car, but no taillights. So... For all those that uh, saw me on the road or were confused, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. The only thing I did have is I did have a brake light with a third brake light. So anyhow, I just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, we did have... Uh, I took the car cover off a crash here and um, did a little bit of work. I took the fender off. Um, I put the hood latch back on it. I've got to get the suspension uh, stuff that I stole off of this. Um, to put on the, the black car. I gotta get that reordered and get this thing at least rolling. Um, and then we can work on, on getting body parts. I'm still in the market for a good parts car. I thought I had one at Copart the other day that was a burn car and it ended up going for a little bit uh, more money than I wanted to spend. So uh, actually it went for like uh, 
375 I would have had to bid 400 to win it and with fees and everything that would have been uh, just about $700 for a parts car that uh, the inside was torched it looked like the airbag had caught on fire right in that area there it was burned through the windshield uh, the whole right side of the dash was burnt but the, the body panels look good um, but still 700 bucks for some body panels um, a little little bit pricey and i didn't want to get in a bidding war with whoever was bidding so we let that car pass knowing full well that um you know cars are plenty on the copart website and you just got to bide your time and, and wait your turn and uh, pay what you want to pay so anyhow appreciate you stopping by i appreciate the interest in the channel like i said i know i haven't uploaded too much stuff and there really haven't been a lot of views um i i hope you enjoy at least following the progress and, and seeing these cars come back to life um if not then uh, let me know what you'd like to see um let me know what you find wrong with the videos probably my rambling would be the the most uh most common thing and like i'm doing now oh one more thing hey when i was like in the back of the the car here looking at the car i also noticed can you see can it does it show up on camera the angle of the back wheels I mean, those tires are, are like, both of the tires are like that. You can see it when you stare straight on. I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but, um, again, that's, a, I know that. I mean, it needs, desperately needs a four-wheel alignment. I had every bit of that suspension apart back there. So, um, that's it for right now. Uh, with the weather being nice, we're going to start working on, on both of these cars, both the black car and the silver car. I want to get this bodywork uh, punched out on this car, set up my uh, homemade paint booth in the garage here, and uh, spray this thing and uh, get her finished up and, and on its way to a new owner. And then we'll turn our attention to Crash over here and getting her resurrected and back on the road. Um, like I said, I got to get the suspension parts ordered and uh, we'll, get the, we'll get that at least back in a rolling chassis. So. Thanks for stopping by. Hit the like button if you liked the video. Hit the dislike button if you didn't like it and tell me why you didn't like it. And um, go ahead and uh, smash that uh, notification bell to get notified of, uh, of any new content. Hopefully uh, we'll be a little bit more regular with the, uh, with the content. Helicopter. Wow, okay. Anyhow. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. And hey, we'll just see you before I go, a little bit of bonus footage, uh, a little bit of bonus picture. I got uh, all three Impalas lined up uh, the other day when it was really nice out and I uh, got a picture of them. So uh, here you go. Enjoy. That's uh, Crash on the left, uh, Black Beauty in the center, and Iris on the right. So there's all three of them lined up, and um, hopefully we'll have all three of them uh, running down the road before uh, too long. Okay. Thanks again. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.